This is a public service. Uh, I just need to make a public records request. Absolutely, come on in. Jinan, yeah. I noticed something on this little piece of paper over here. It didn't say interim on it. Yeah. So it has a, is this official? It is. It's, congratulations. Uh, just before Thanksgiving. Yeah, Thank congratulations. you. I'm pretty That's excited. awesome. I'm pretty happy. Yeah. Did you hear about what happened last night? I heard a little bit about it. I'm just kind of getting up to speed on yeah, it. Yeah, so that's what I'm here to kind of learn a little more about. Well, what can I do for you? Um, you can probably only help me with inner office emails. Okay. Most, most of the other stuff's going to have to come. Everybody, this is a dog friendliest city I've been in. The police station had one behind the counter. You guys got one in the boardroom. I think dogs are um, just... Dogs are the best. They, they, yeah, they make everybody a little more at ease, I think. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's uh, too bad you, that dog wasn't at the uh, the library meeting last night. You know, that would be a cool one. <laughs> I, I'm in favor of dogs everywhere. Let me pull up my public request thing right here. Okay, so... What's your name again? A lot. Oh, uh, Foshan. Uh, P H O C I O N. Now that's related to the Federalist paper? Uh, well, Foshan was a, uh, he was a Greek, uh, we'll call him philosopher back, you know, uh, before Aristotle and Socrates, but um, more, uh, more recently he was a pen name for um, uh, Hamilton during the revolutionary times. We were just talking about Hamilton. Listening. Hamilton's a boss. Yeah. yeah I, I think that he gets a lot of hate because he was for, um, you know, quote unquote, big government, you know, uh, I think that he would be spinning if he saw what people are trying to attribute to him, you know, as far as the things that he made uh, turning into the, the monster that it's become now. So um, the Hamilton's probably, and I don't know, it's, there's probably a lot of argument there, but he's he's probably the most important founding founder, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. And how do so you feel about the play? Uh, the play, um, uh, I I wasn't super impressed by it. Yeah. I mean, have you have you studied Hamilton at all? Uh, not very much. No. Yeah. So I can't even remember the uh, biographer. Um, I can't remember, but there's a biography by Hamilton. Um, shit. Recent? Um, no. I don't have that phone on me. But in either case, yeah, actually, it's just it's just called Hamilton. We'll let Google uh, cover this. Um, it could have been McCullough, but I don't think it was. So did you just see it recently? Uh, about... About six months ago, okay. I went down to visit my mom, and it was on Disney Plus. Did you have a? Um, mm -hmm. um, did you have a pre-existing? Um, and why I'm not sure why I'm struggling so hard with words today. But did you have a certain feeling about him prior to seeing that? Um, not really, because I didn't know a whole lot about him. And so um, the play raised a lot of questions, and so I wanted to go back and read some more. And I, I think it painted him in a sympathetic light. Um, I think his integrity was an important part of the yeah. play. And so I, I, and I, even though he had his lapses as well, you know, everybody does. Yeah, you know, you're right about that. I think it's great to look at a historical figure and what you could consider one of our founding fathers and recognize that although they were flawed you know what they did in the founding of the country was something noble and yeah. and to look at the good things and to keep carrying those things forward and to be inspired by those yeah we have the tendency to judge people by the times we live in now and that's a slippery slope uh, in and of itself you know so you know do we want uh do we want to judge i mean slavery is abhorrent right we we can all agree to that now yeah. but i don't think it's um i don't think we should say everything that george washington did or anything that jefferson did should be undone because they 
um, held value to this ab abhorrent thing, you know what I mean? Because they, they did, like you said, I mean, they did some, I mean, it's, it's staggering to think about the change that they, that they um, caused. I mean, our, our world has never known a country like this one, you know? That's what I, the biggest thing I took away from the play, yeah. and that made me want to read more about about the characters in it and about what really happened because it's you know it gives you goosebumps yeah. to, to think of what they accomplished. Yeah, and for sure. Groundbreaking. Yeah. For sure, and you know, and, and I realize that I'm just here at the at city hall trying to get answers to questions, and I'm no I'm no Hamilton, you know, but. I think that if we don't continue to do the things that we think they would have done to keep government in check, because, I mean, the argument could be made that we're considerably more out of control than the British government was during the time, you know, of the revolution, so, um, yeah. That's what growth does, you know, it's, yeah. it's the continuous cycle, yeah. everything that starts small and, and begins as something noble and beautiful, it can grow and certain things branch out and don't go the way that yeah. the initiators wanted it to go. Yeah, you're, I, yeah, I couldn't I'm have said it any better. Time. No, you're, you're, you're good, Jeanine. You know. And your email was? Uh, letters of Foshan. Gmail, there we go. And what can I get for you? Um. Ron Chernow. Hmm? Ron Chernow. Ron. No, that's not for that. Oh. It's the, he's the uh, the biographer that wrote oh, Hamilton. Okay. He actually wrote um, uh, George Washington also. And if you're really going to dive into it, uh, read read the one on George Washington and then do Hamilton because Hamilton was on Washington's. Um, you know he was. He was he was basically Washington's chief of staff through all of the revolution. So there's there's a dichotomy between their two relationship that um, you get a good look at it in Hamilton's you know recollection of it or his notes. But it's it's nice to see you know how Washington viewed him and I mean because this was somebody that was basically his chief of staff when he was when he was 20 years old maybe. I mean it's 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 crazy the amount of knowledge that that man Hamilton uh, had in his head. So, um, it's a beautiful yeah. story though. I yeah. get goosebumps just thinking. Yeah, about I, I mean, me too. Me too. Yeah, Hamilton's amazing. All right, so I don't know how to phrase this in a way that isn't going to get my request automatically rejected. Mm -hmm. um, I want all of the communication between this office and the command staff at um, Mount Dora PD and Mayor Style. For a particular time period? Yeah, well, we'll say uh, from, how about between 5, uh, 5 p.m. yesterday and... Um, and we'll say 210 today. Now, I don't necessarily need all correspondence, but I, I, I would like the correspondence that has anything to do with the Jeff Gray incident. That was the gentleman that was um, accosted by um, the city. Okay, anything else? Um, I did have, no, I don't think so. Please. Now, are you are you fighting the the move into your official office? Actually, I am staying here, and we are moving our economic development manager into there. I don't like that. I kind of do because I like hearing everything that's going on. Okay. All right. Well, it's your job, so I, I'll my opinion will stop right there. I want to be, you know. 
back sequestered here. in the corner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's good to be here. I can I can grab a conference room or something if I feel like I need some privacy. But I like hearing everything that's going in, and department heads come in for meetings, and I could hear about the projects going on and hear what's because we do we publish our council agendas twice a month, and so you know I can hear the progress of things and know if something's going to be ready for a certain time. Yeah, well, and then I also I like this kind of thing. Also, well, I, public records. Right on. Yeah. Well, cool. It's really exciting. Um, was that is that the city manager? Um, yeah, he's in there, and that's his, his executive assistant, Mary. Is it possible that I could speak with the city manager for a moment? I think he's in the middle of something, and he's got a meeting coming right up. That have you talked to Vershawn? I talked to Vershawn the last time I was here. He's got a meeting. I can see if he's available. I appreciate that, Jean No, he's in a meeting right now. Is it possible to just set up an appointment to does he meet with the, the public? The he mayor meets didn't with have everybody. Um, but I can make he's in actually with his executive assistant right now. So and she her name is Mary and she can give you a call back and set up something with you. If she could email me that. Okay. Good. And that's letters of potion. You got it. Right. Right. Congratulations again, Janine. Thank you so much. It's nice to see you. Yeah, good to see you. I hope it's a long and I hope it's as long of a career here as you want it to be. Well, I appreciate it. Have nice a great day. Hey, for Sean. I just wanted to say I was up and uh, talking to the uh, the city clerk, and I figured out oh, I'd hop back in and say hello to you since you were so helpful the last time. I, I was here. Try to be, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Did you hear about what happened last night? I did, man. I did. Were you there? No. No, no I wasn't there. Um, I'm sorry for getting that music. Yeah, no, you're good, man. It's it's all good. I was just walking out, and she said, oh, "Did you see you for Sean?" So. Um, yeah, no, I'm just here to find out what the heck is going on with the police yeah, department. So, so I'm still still working on trying to put all the pieces together, but I think I want to want to really clear up the fact that so the the general's name is Jeff Gray. Jeff Gray, yeah. So so uh, everyone, as soon as I woke up this morning, I saw that he was he was arrested, but he never was arrested or, or charged with anything. So yeah, he was. I was. I th I think it's more he he was detained. So I saw that he was he was cuffed. Yeah. Uh, so, so I did uh, see that, but I, I'm still working on on all all the details from. Have you seen the people. body cam? I've p a piece of it, so I okay. still need to get to get the yeah. full thing, but Me it wasn't too. all the way downloaded. Okay. From it, but but I did hear that that he himself has uh, body cams too that he yeah, uses he and stuff like that. Did, which did, which is which is that? something because the the police they would have effectuated that arrest had they not noticed his cameras after the fact. You know, I'm pretty out in the open, uh, yeah, but absolutely. he had his to the side, you yeah. know, so once they saw that, they they realized that they needed to act right, which is kind of crazy. You should just act right, you know absolutely. what I mean? I mean, uh, we had the passing comment as I was walking out, you know, I, I was going to go there before I went there to make sure that the police act right. Well, I'm going to go to the police station first, though, in case I've got any complaints to lodge with the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> That's Hopefully I don't. <laughs> so Police no. station around here doesn't act right. You know, I mean, civil rights violations are a big deal. And, you know, who's going to pay for that? Absolutely. You know, I mean, it's the citizens of Mount Dora that, that are, you know, on the hook for every single mistake they make because there's no, there's zero accountability. There's none. There's no accountability at the police off. Please. Oh, here we go. Oh, hmm? How you doing? Good. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Good. What was your name? Uh, Mike Gibson. Mike, oh, you're the chief. Um, the intern chief. chief? Yeah, I am. How you all doing? Right. I'm doing all right, Mike. Good. Mike, I'm I'm here. Uh, I'm trying to find out what what happened last night with uh, with the officer that put Jeff Gray in cuffs. Yeah, we're we're looking into it right now as we speak, and uh, be able to give you a little clear answers uh, a little a little later. Do you know when the body cam will be available? I think they're working on it right now. I think you were in the office I was, yeah. within the hour. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, do you, I mean, obviously you, well, I assume you have seen everything, but just for the sake of the conversation, um, you know, what, what was going on there that. Yeah. Let's, let's wait so until still, I get yeah. all the facts. We're, we're still looking at everything, but everything is going to go through through my office. Yes. And, and okay. Provide it with well, that's encouraging. That's very encouraging that somebody outside of the, the police department is, right. yeah, is handling absolutely. it. 
and anything anything like this will, will typically always go through my office just just to make sure that it is all 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 the pieces are together and, and I present it to you all in, in its absolute form so so there's no missing pieces to it so you don't have to go in and look for other pieces yeah. or this is missing or anything like that I'll be back. All right, we'll just we're, if I could just turn your ear just for one more second I I'm not sure if you know or not I was I was here about a month ago I had a discussion with uh, I think, uh, I'm not sure he was Lieutenant Wade. I think he might've been Sergeant Wade at the time. Um, and we were discussing training. We were discussing constitutional training to be specific. And, you know, he said that there was no constitutional training. Um, you know, that's, that's chilling when you're told that by uh, somebody in leadership. And then a month later, you have citizens, you know, allegedly having the citizens, you know, civil rights violated it. It's chilling to the Constitution. You, you guys swore an oath. Sure, um, and and we'll finish it in a moment. I can just tell you that we go to great lengths to uh, provide the most up-to-date, uh, aggressive, proactive training available. Now, every day there's something new that pops onto the radar, and out comes the training. So that's fair enough. Yeah, that, that's fair enough. But I, I mean, I, I asked him this question. I asked him, "Do you know the five elements, the five freedoms that the First Amendment protects?" Do you know? I do, I do. But I'll be back. I'll okay. do it on another day. Yes, yes, okay. Right I know he, he, he does have Yeah, no, they, they, they told me upstairs. But, but I, I think um, what, what's, what's important to note to you is, is that officer very much so, I'm assuming knew those top fives. Now, when, with the camera in your face, I, I, I'm sure for him it's, it's a little bit hard to- Is it, is it safe to assume that all the officers are familiar with the First Amendment? I mean, do, do you know the five freedoms that the First Amendment secures? Uh, Pretty much. I mean, I, I would have to refresh myself on them. Okay. You know. I mean, in a position of leadership like you are, please do that. Please, do, I mean, please do I, that. Like I said, I, I, we're required to do one training topic. I usually pick two or three. Yeah. If, if you could just them. hammer the First Amendment with, with your officers and just give them that one for a week, I, I mean... It, it's chilling that you know uh, one of the people comes into a police station and and talks to a sergeant, and they're not you know that they, they don't know the five freedoms that are secured by the First Amendment. That's you know that's the foundation of every. That's the foundation of all law. And I'm I'm, I'm guessing that you're familiar with them all. I, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, but and I'm not trying to pick on you. I, I'm just trying to you know. I want an open di an open dialogue between the, the police and the people, um, but if the police don't know what rights they're out there to protect, I mean, before you guys are supposed to enforce law, you're supposed to uphold rights. We, we can't. Well, no, he admitted uh, so, that he didn't know. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't yeah. see that. And I wasn't picking on him for for that. I, I I was more picking on you know he didn't let me finish, but you know that was about training. And Absolutely. I said to him, you know, because he said that he had some. Uh, control over the training. He said that he was in charge of training. I said, please, you know, please, I implore you to do some civil rights training with Absolutely. your officer. And then, you know, a month later, we've we've got we've got civil rights being violated. It's it's allegedly, yeah, <laughs> allegedly. But I mean, we're gonna see. You know what I mean? And I I hope that you know I, you seem like a stand up guy. Hopefully. You you have the ability to separate you Absolutely. know the city from the the police department I and, and I really weigh accountability. And, and I appreciate. I, I, I even when I saw your video of us, I I think you're fair and, and I think it's commendable uh, what you guys are doing. Um, I, I think whatever happened as as of last night, we'll, we'll get to the bottom of. But what we're more more than prepared to. Uh, well, hearing that from the chief, that it was something that you were going to handle, it, it certainly made me feel better that yeah. they weren't going to handle it because, like I said right before we walked in, there's never accountability. Yeah. Never. And the people, they're sick and fucking tired of it. And, and I mean, I'm sure that you can appreciate that. Bad shit keeps happening. Nothing changes. That's why I'm out here, because nothing ever changes, man. So, yeah. But Absolutely. I appreciate that you're on it. Hopefully... Uh, you know, hopefully they release the... the and, I'm, I'm, and, I, and I think I have, which, you, you, do you mind giving me your email? Yeah, it's sure let, Letters of Fotion. I, I think oh, I've yes, sent yeah, you. Yeah, 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 that's, that's right, that's right, I got it. Yeah. Letters of Fotion, that's right. 
Yeah, so, so I'll make sure that, that you get out, uh, you get everything that I, that I put out, the statement that we put out, uh, all the good stuff. I'll, I'll send it directly that. to you. And hopefully, well. the, hopefully the police department releases the full yes, thing, we, we, unredacted. It was, and... it, was, um, it was asked for. I did see that it, it was requested through public records uh, request. So uh, I think a few times. I, I don't know if you directly did. I was one of them. Okay. Yeah, I right. was one of them. Yeah, so, so yes, those will, will be fulfilled all right awesome i appreciate that for oh, sean you have a great day nice all right again. close us yes please thank right. you, have a good day do you think he knew just between like me and you knew, knew what, what, what? Do, when i asked him if he knew the, the five oh, things yes, you think he knew? His, i've talked to a lot of chiefs his, none his of them know world. i i can't i can't <laughs> whether, for, whether or not but but i'm i'm sure he does i hope his background in, in law enforcement and I, and I, you know, I hope that, you know, him being an interim chief, hopefully this is all of the bad stuff that's just catching up from the guy that left and that he'll be able to, you know, kind of clear the air and have a fresh start. Absolutely. Uh, I hope that that's the case, but more so, I really hope that these officers get some training on the constitution and our civil rights. I don't know to what degree you I can think, help I think with all, that. Of, all of us should, right? Like, I think that's well, I, yeah, I agree. that, that Every, every citizen should, should absolutely really, really but you and me well you did actually but you know we didn't take an oath right I mean I think you probably did for your job but no so so I so it's officer of my title but, but I'm not actually sworn in okay yeah. but you know I mean they swore an oath and I, I don't disagree with you at all we should as 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 people as citizens we should all know our rights I mean absolutely. if if we don't know them if we don't exercise them they don't exist so um, all right. Appreciate it, man. Have a good one.